Hey guys, bringing you another key replacement video today, working on a Toshiba satellite right now. And I'm gonna show you how to fix uh, or remove and, and replace oh, one of the larger keys. So enter, shift, uh, space, one of the larger keys. Uh, if, if you're looking on how to replace a smaller key, a normal size letter or number key, look below in, in the description. Uh, there'll be a link for how to replace one of those. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace these larger ones because they're a little a different underneath. Uh, so you need a small flathead screwdriver as usual. Uh, let me zoom in here. We'll get looking at the shift key, I guess. Looks like that's going to be in the middle of our screen. Okay, so the shift key, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and just like one of these normal keys, there's a uh, retainer clips under this, but there's most likely going to be two of them because uh, it's a larger key. So I'm going to take my small flathead, I'm going to put it underneath my keycap, and I'm going to try to hold down first this retainer clip and pry it off so it doesn't break, and then I'm going to try to get further in and, and hold down that one. So after I get the cap up, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like under there. Be very careful when you're doing this uh, not to break your, your keycap from bending it too much because that is possible. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. I'll put that off to the side. And this is what we got going on under there. Uh, like I said, you have two retainer clips and then you have these uh, metal stabilizer bars that come out fairly easily. Th these are kind of annoying because they just float around in there. Uh, each end goes into a loop, a metal loop there but they don't really snap in. They just kind of slide into place and then they just like hover around in there. So they're kind of a pain as far as getting just right. Same thing with this one. It'll go in, in into the metal loops up top. Uh, but I'll, I'll wait to put those back in until we're done with the, uh, the clips. So it's still got one of these rubber components. Really try not to rip that up. That's only held on by glue. Real pain in the butt to get that back down if you do rip it up. And then these retainer clips look a little like the ones that are found in a normal key, just a little smaller. Uh, so they have four metal pins towards the four corners. And the way that we're going to get this up is I'm going to push up with my fingernail from the bottom because uh, the, the metal pins toward the top, those are the closest to the edge. So those are the ones that I'm going for. I'm going to push up from the bottom with, with my finger and try to slowly, gently pry out this plastic from under that uh, those metal pins. So. I'll, I'll give you a close-up of, of the clip once I get it out. You can see why it's so hard to get out safely. Okay, so that came out relatively easily again. So I'll flip that around for you so you can see that. So zoom in a little bit more. So I'm not sure how well you can see that, but there's a little loop or a hole right there and then one right there. Those holes are what was underneath those metal pins. Very, very thin plastic, very easy to break. If I didn't wedge that out from under the metal well enough, I could have just snapped it right off. And then that thing won't be held secure when you put it back. So uh, very annoying process. That's where you'll break it if, if you do break it. Be, be careful right there. So that's how you would take that clip off. In order to put it back on, I'm going to flip it around the right way. And we took the top off, so I'm going to put the bottom on first. We're going to go in, in reverse. We're, we're going to do the bottom first. So get that laid in there. Kind of tricky because there's not a lot of wiggle room in here. Very small part. Basically, I'm getting it laid in there so that it's centered where it should be, and the bottom clips are right where they should be. I, I, I've put the plastic under these bottom clips. And now when you get it in the right spot, you should be able to just press each corner and snap it into place. Just like that. And, and that's obviously how, we, how you would do the, that one as well. And then again, these metal stabilizer bars are kind of a pain. I'm gonna put that one through the loop there, through the loop there, lay it down. Looks like that's somewhat centered. And then I'm gonna bring my key over. I'm gonna take this one, and instead of putting this and laying it down too, and, and trying to eyeball two of, of, of these bars, I'm gonna take this one and snap it in where it, 
it 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 should be right away. Okay, snap that back in. This is kind of a trick instead of laying it all down in there. So I get that snap back in, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to slide its ends, its ends underneath the loop here and the loop here, while trying not to disturb the other one. So move out so you can see this. So put that in like that, and then just try to snap it down. Hopefully, we got everything centered. Okay, so that may take a few tries, um, especially if you're not used to it, uh, but that's how you would replace that large key. And again, that may take a, a few tries because it, 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 it may not snap in quite perfectly the first time. You may have to rip it back up and line everything up again and press it down again. So that, that may take several tries and it's more complicated because you got both pins and both stabilizer bars. So it's a lot to snap in and get all lined up. But any questions, leave a, uh, a comment down below. Let me know and uh, like and share if it was helpful. Subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks guys for watching.